Well, hello everyone. This is a short episode to show one of the test results which I wanted to confirm about one of my projects, LTZ 1000 reference board. So one of the EV block members actually ordered PCBs using my Gerbers and made LTZ modules but his test result was uh, revealing some problem he is using the same meter but when he changed the terminals from the positive polarity to negative he get very large error so I wanted to confirm uh, that there is no problem with the reference itself and decided to replicate the same test so he in this metal box I put the actual module, this is not screwed down any tight, just holding together, I can show you in a second, there is in plastic box one of my references, and right now it's powered from this motorcycle 12 volt battery, nothing special, just usual a uh, copper twisted pair leads going into the reference this these two leads power provide the power and these two unshielded leads connected to the meter so here we can see it's jumping around 80 827 microvolts it's around there so if i make it slower just reading is about the same. I'll put this back in. And so we can remember this value 82, 90, 90 something. Okay, we're all set now. So the reading stabilized around 80 to 90. As I mentioned, so let's swap the terminals now and see what happens. Actually, we should expect the, about the same value because the absolute voltage from the reference is the same. We are just changing the polarity on the meter. Okay, and as we expect, the value about the same. If I let it to stabilize a little, then it will go back to the 90 something we saw before. Yep, there it is. It just takes a little bit of time to get the temperature back stable again on the terminal post because I touch them and the temperature change. But it doesn't matter for this purpose right now. Now we can change back to the normal polarity and we should expect no difference so that's about the same now let's repeat the same test but using the power supply, these two leads right over there that box with the blue screen, that's the Keithley 2304 that's power supply which we can use to repeat the same test so I'll disconnect the power from the battery like so and connect to the power supply I don't recommend doing this usually, but for the sake of experiment, it's okay in this condition. So let's let it stabilize a little to get the same reading, 82, 90 something. It usually takes a couple minutes. And then we can swap the 
wires and see if we get different reading. If we get the different reading, why is that happening? I would like to know that and feel free to give you suggestions or comments in this video. I think I already know the correct answer, but I'll wait on that to see if you know it. Okay, so we have 82.30 something. We should expect about the same, right? Let's see, I disconnect the wire. Connect negative to positive. Okay, minus with the negative polarity we get very big error. So, why is it so? That's it for now. Thanks for watching. I'll provide the correct answer in a couple days.